Hey everyone, this is Will here. Now in this video, we're gonna have a look at my vintage level crossing wigwags. Okay, so I got these wigwags from the Telford Steam Railway about a year ago as because of you know COVID and all that, the Telford Steam Railway haven't been able to make money uh, during lockdown. So they ended up selling some railway memorabilia, including three wigwags. These two here will have ones that I got my hands on there was a third one that was um, up for sale as well but it wasn't in too good condition when I first got these wigwags although they weren't in bad condition they did need a bit of TLC especially this one on the left with the white border as the back border had corroded and the original white border was actually peeling off as well and the one on the right here was missing a red lens as well and if I recall correctly it was the the right red light that was missing the lens okay so we're gonna have a look at the inside of the wigwag modules now so what we have to do is just loosen these three bolts here I've already done them off camera so just to save time in the video so you just simply just loosen them up. And then you just simply open it up like this. So here's the inside of it. And as you can see, there's a halogen bulb in there because obviously these are vintage lights. And the bulbs are 24 volts, 36 watts and the, the uh, bayonet bulbs so they just simply just you simply just push them in and then turn it like like that so it's pretty easy to maintain really and here's the lens from the inside and that thing there was just something I did in just to stop the lens from moving around And there's the concave material as well, the concave mirror, which projects the light so it's you know more visible. We'll have a look in this one as well. Here's the inside of this one. Now, as you can see here, there is actually a burnt, like a little burn mark up there, which I've tried to, you know, polish it away, but it's still present, but it's not as bad as it was. So I'm, so I think this is probably, this one was probably used on like an MCB or something, just kind of judging by the fact that there's, that there's these like burn marks at the top. So as you can see, this one's got the same sort of bulbs. The concave mirror is, it doesn't look too different, but it's just ever so slightly different because, because uh, some of you may have noticed on some halogen wigwags that there's this like illusion created from the concave uh, mirror where it looks like there's like a massive ball, but actually it's just like a reflection like that creates this illusion because the balls are only like this big. And this is a GEC lens here. And I, I believe these are made by uh, GEC, but take what I said with a pinch of salt because I don't know for sure. Okay, so as I said earlier in the video, um, these wigwags did need a bit of TLC when I first got them. This one here especially because the back border corroded and the border was peeling off and everything. So I've given this a complete repaint. So the white border is a hammerite gloss white finish. Whereas this here is the is a is the Wilco matte black paint. I've also done the back as well. Um I know it's a bit difficult to see, but I'll try and show as much of the back as I possibly can
I know it's a bit difficult to see, but that's probably the best I can do to show you. This one here on the right, however, hasn't really had much work done to it at all, really. The only thing that's been done with it is, you know, just the acquisition of the of the uh, red lens. So, so there's no missing lenses on this one now. The red light on the right had a missing lens. Although this one, that lens there is actually the one that was there before. But the, it's just these were swapped over at some point. Not intentionally, but yeah. So here's the back of this one. Again, a bit difficult to see, but the, it's got a black back, but with a grey T-bracket, as you can see here. There are a few differences with these wigwags that are worth noting. One of them is, is the backboards of these wigwags. This one here has a steel backboard because it's magnetic. This one here isn't magnetic, but I'm not really too sure what the material is on this one. Probably aluminium or zinc or something like that. But this one is more flexible than this one. So this one, this one here is more easy to bend. Another difference with this one is that this one here has got eight holes. So there's four on the top. So there's two there, two there. And you can see two more through there. And there's two more on the other side there, there as well. You can just about see one of them there as well. Whereas this wigwag, and I know I forgot to say this in that clip, but this wigwag doesn't have any holes in its T-brackets, as you can see in the pictures that you're seeing right now. Another difference with these ones is the wiring terminals. This one's got 10 wiring terminals, so as you can see, they're numbered 1 to 10 on this one. This one here, however, has only got 6 wiring terminals. Another difference with these, with these wigwags as well, although it's pretty obvious, as you can see right in front of you. This one here has a red and white border, but this one is clipped over the top of the original border. So underneath is actually a white border, uh, as you'll see in the photo that, that is on the screen now. So as you can see here, this is just simply bolted over the top. As you can see, the, there's like bolts there that, and these clips here which just hold this over the top so it doesn't fall off. Okay, it's also worth noting as well that um, these wigwags don't have any visors on them. They would have done, but they seem to have been removed and, you know, not replaced or anything. Um, so they just, so they don't have any visors on them. But they would simply just clip into these things here. So there's like a clip there, one here, one here, and one here as well. Since I first got these wigwags, I've actually got out of my way and got them to operate. And I've done this by using an Arduino, which is this mini computer which you can program using a piece of software on your computer um, you know to, to uh, get them to operate so here's the Arduino here which uh, is powered using a phone uh, charger adapter so if I plug this in here these LEDs there indicate that the Arduino is turned on and as you can see here there's these wires that link from the Arduino to the solid state relay or at least from like three different like from three pins anyway so these three wires the yellow red and orange link to the relays and then these two wires also link to the relays as well and these two wires here go into these two terminals there, like clipping terminals, because I've also wired in my yodel alarms into the circuit. So there's one here, and there's another one on this on this shelf as well. 
the wig rags are powered using a separate power supply which is where the solid state relays come into play so so there's a 24 volt um, DC um, transformer so the input is 230 volts AC and the output is 24 volts DC and it goes through the relays and when the relays are active the um, lights are powered up the wires from the Arduino are also colour coded as well so uh, particularly the ones for the lights as well so you know which ones for which light as well there is also a switch hooked onto the Arduino as well so when you operate this switch here it will also activate the sequence which I'll demonstrate in a moment Okay, so here I'm going to show you the wig rags in operation. So first of all, I need to just plug in the transformer and the Arduino. And then all I need to do now is flick the switch here. There's a 10 second delay as well, so it won't come on straight away. And there we go. So the way this works is, well, it's basically like, you know, scripting a wig wag on Roblox, really. As there's like a build up to like this continuous loop. So basically the amber shows for a certain amount of time. In this case, it's um, three seconds because, you know, I've programmed it to be on for three seconds. And then when the reds start flashing, it just goes in a continuous loop until I shut it off again. And yes, you probably noticed that the Yoda alarms aren't actually sounding at the moment, and that's because they're not actually hooked onto the Arduino at the minute. Without the filter lenses, these lights are like really bright. They're almost blinding. Not literally, but they are really bright. It's almost like a like a like a searchlight. Okay, I'm gonna shut it off now. Well, actually, before I do that, actually, um, on the solid state relays, there's also these LEDs on it as well to indicate that, um, you know, that the lights are flashing as well. I'll just shut it off again and I'll reactivate it again. Uh, you'll see an LED come on for the amber. There we go. And then we've got the reds flashing. And when I shut it off again. There we go. Okay, so here I'm going to show the wig rags in operation again, but this time with the yodel alarms working this time. So you'll hear this one and this one as well. So I'll just flick the switch again.
Okay, so this basically wraps up this video. So thanks very much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, and share this video as well. And once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.